Uh, you got to give, give them a lot of credit. <clears throat> uh, that's three games in a row. They kind of did the same thing. They were a more physical team. Uh, their length, their athleticism bothered us. Um, you know, I, I thought that uh, um, obviously B.I. had a heck of a game, you know, scoring 30 on 50% shooting from the floor. <clears throat> so he did what he was supposed to do. Uh, a guy like Herb Jones, you know, for him to go get 23 on 8 for 13 from the floor, uh, Ken, you got to give him credit. That's something that you hope that doesn't happen, especially if you're, you know, if you're limiting uh, Zion to, to eight shots and, and, and 10 points. You hope a guy like Herb Jones doesn't get to the rim time after time after time for, for a dunk. Um, but <clears throat> I, I thought that at the end of the day, uh, it was their bench. Their, their bench, uh, man, I, t I tell you what, they, you got to give credit where credit's due. Obviously, uh, Trey Murphy had a big game uh, for him, <clears throat> and you know, from time to time, they, you know, he's long, he can shoot it. That's expected. But the, the, the guy that's kicked our behind, I know for sure, two straight games. I can't. Might maybe three is is Alvarado. You, you got to give that man a lot of credit. That man came into the game. He changed the game. Uh, he was physical with us. Smallest player on the floor, but he impacted the game at the highest level. Uh, every minute that he was on the floor, and uh, and we paid the price for it. So uh, give those guys a ton of credit because they came in here and they earned the win. Like, how would you um, describe just the level of disappointment not to be able to advance in this tournament? Oh, it's tough. You, you know, we we obviously wanted to advance just like they did, and. You know, the, their physicality, how hard they played, uh, the things they did out on the floor just showed it, it you know. Um, it was hard for us to score, uh, and it was hard for us to get stops. It's not a good combination uh, in a situation like this. And like I said, you got to give their team uh, from Willie Green on down a lot of credit for it because they came in here and they took it. And, you know, you are disappointed in it, but uh, at the end of the day, Watching that game, <clears throat> you know, they earned <laughs> they earned it. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's one of those things. Is when, when you get a butt whooping, and that person that whipped your butt, you l watch them do it. You see how they do it. Nothing to do but give them credit for it. How killer was the end of the first quarter? Well, I think your lead went from ten to two, and like that. You know, it was huge. I, I thought it was really big uh, again, and I thought. Oh, Alvarado was a huge, huge, huge part of it. He just came in, and defensively, he impacted the game. I think he might have hit a three, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but, again, I, I, I got to give credit where credit was due, and I thought he was a big factor in that run. Um, what do you think of and see with your, your varying pace throughout the course of the game? Uh, it, it wasn't good, but <clears throat> but I think they had something to do with it. You know, they, they did a good job of uh, – Getting back in transition, I told our guys, you, you know, you can watch it on film. We don't, we don't run as hard as we did last year. We're not getting to the corners to flatten the defense out and open it. We kind of jog back. Everybody's kind of looking for the ball, and then we stop at the uh, at the at the wing free throw line extended, and and so it's hard to get down the hill. It's hard to create space, uh, sprays in transition just because we don't run as hard as we, we we did last year. And hopefully, in time, we'll get back to doing that. Mike, how do you get more out of over here? How do you get more out of HB? It just there's some games where he goes off and he's he's very present in the game, and there's games like today where it just like looks like he's just there. Yeah, you know, he, I mean, we got a lot out of him. I, I thought he did a nice job on with Zion. Now, obviously, he didn't score the ball at the at the clip that you hope for, but for us to score 117 points, especially. Uh, you know, with the turnovers we had in the first half, uh, that's more than enough. We just got to do a better job uh, defensively in a ball game of this magnitude. We got to take care of the ball and do all the little things. And, and we, we didn't do it, you know, like to give up a free throw tip in with point three or whatever seconds is to end the half. That's not good. Your mind's not in the right spot uh, to win a, a game of this magnitude. <clears throat> Building off of Jake's question, there you you mentioned pregame, um, like each player has helped identify their role and, and sit, sure. share it in front of the team. Can you share the specifics of what 
Harrison's identified role is and what you are looking to see from him on a night to night basis? Uh, you know, we're still defining the role, so it's not, you know, it, but I can tell you just in general, he's going to have to help us rebound. Uh, he's going to take on some tough defensive assignments, right? And then, you know, he's going to uh, shoot the ball when he's open. You know, I don't, the one thing that you guys have to understand is I don't call any plays for HB. Everything he does, he kind of gets off of others. And so, <clears throat> you know, that's going to bring a uh, amount of, uh, of inconsistency too because he doesn't get a single play call for him. And, um, you know, when he's had big games, it's been him feeding off of others and all that type of stuff. And, you know, we, we didn't, I don't know if, you know, I'd have to go back and watch the film, but I don't feel like we touched the paint enough. And, and you know, they send a lot of guys to the paint. But I don't feel like we touched the paint enough. And then when the ball got sprayed, uh, excuse me, and, and then the ball gets sprayed. You know, I felt when we touched that paint, a lot of times it was to try to score. You know, and HB is, is, a, is really good feeding off of us touching the paint. Spray happens. He either shoots it or spray, swing to him, hard close out, and, and he snap drives and gets by people. He didn't have much opportunity to do that tonight. You know, but again... You know, we didn't shoot the ball well from three, but you know, 117 points is uh, is plenty enough to to win a ball game of this magnitude. You said you didn't think you guys are running as as much or as hard this year. Yeah, um, we're, we're, we're running, getting to the corners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because a, a lot of a lot of guys want the ball to bring it up, and so we got you know we got two or three guys doing this as soon as the rebound happens instead of just putting your head down and sprinting down the floor and sprinting to the corners or sprinting to the rim. That's one thing. And then the second thing is our wings don't run. They don't put their head down and just get to the corner. You know, because when, when you get to the corner, it flattens out the defense. But we don't do a great job of doing that. And we've talked about it. We'll continue to talk about it. We'll continue to show uh, film on it, and like I said, hopefully in time we'll get better with it. You, you think that's having a negative impact, though, offensively on you guys? It's Yeah, in, in our transition game for sure, yeah. Coach, just your overall thoughts on the in-season tournament and, you know, making it to the to the knockout round and just the overall journey. No, it, it's, a, it's a great thing. I said it uh, before, the, the NBA knows what they're doing. Uh, and so it's 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 a fabulous uh, event, you know. It's different than uh, regular season. In regular season, obviously, it's a grind. The playoffs are a grind. It's not the regular season. The postseason is a grind because there's seven games. But this, you know, that adds a little excitement to it because it's it's one and done, and anybody can win win one game, you, you know. And so uh, you got to be on your best every time you step on the floor.